I, what, what comes to mind? What, what picture does this paint to you of our health uh, situation in the country? I, uh, thank you very much, once again, and good morning for having me, and good morning to my two panelists. Uh, I am picking you from where um, Dr. Sapon ended, and you agree that, yes, it looks to new people who are seeing this as a story, but for some of us who have been in the sector and continue to you know, scout around the communities, I've seen this over and over and over again. And this is the reason why we sometimes say our um, health facilities and the system itself is sicker than um, giving um, treatment to us as, um, as, as, as people, citizens of Ghana. If you look at such a situation as a regional hospital, then you can go down to look at a chips compound or what we call the health center or the district hospital that provide primary health care. If we don't have these basic um, um, health equipment that supports um, delivery at emergency and is able to give life back to people who perhaps are, are having some attacks, then you can imagine um, what we talk about when you go to a district facility and then they transfer you in an ambulance to, to visit a tertiary facility for which we are seeing one today. So it is a very dying situation and very appalling that um, our politicians sometimes think of the physical things that people will see and praise them on. Like we are building uh, 111 hospitals. Are they going to be finished? Are we going to make it fully functional and get all these equipment there? What will make the Ghanaian or the citizen be happy that we have a better healthcare system? Is it the facility, the nice facility we are going to see? Probably yes to all of us who are failing ourselves because we don't know much of what goes into health service delivery. So when we see that somebody is making pronouncement of probably building the uh, 111 hospitals and um, building Terminal 3 and then um, uh, what we call it, rich and other things, we think that is all. It is not a flashy buildings. It is what is in it to support our health system. And that is what we need to look out for and be able to champion government to make them functional and support to uh, our health system and, and in, in the long term at least bring our families, our children, our mothers back to life. These are the things we are missing. And uh, my brother, sometimes you would say it over and over and over as advocates. And they, uh, I mean, Take it from me, the government today is not touched even by demonstrations and whatever and so on. So they only do things that might give them votes the next time. And those are the flashy things that we see and people praise them for it. Leaving the very most important things that will bring back life to us to survive in a, in a very hard economy we find ourselves today.